All right, here with Summers County quarterback Brandon Isaac. And I, Brandon, last year when I was down here at this time, you were kind of sitting up in the stands in street clothes. I know it's got to be a lot better to be back on the uh, field and be ready to go from the beginning of the season. Oh, 100%. I'm glad to be out here on the field, being able to play with the guys. And it's, it's a lot better being on the field than up on the sideline or having the headset on on the sideline. So you did a little bit of that too, some coaking uh, uh, while you were waiting. Yeah, listening to what was going on. Yeah, Evans wanted me to carry the headset just to get a little better understanding of the offense and how the play calling works, so I can make more suggestions when I'm on the field. Sometimes I make suggestions. You know, he obviously he calls the plays, but if I'm seeing something, I usually tell him, and that helped me a lot think, recognizing defense. I think you and your receiver uh, Ryan Oliveris, and it just back to the kind of talent you got and the way it's broke down. You've convinced uh, Josh Evans is a head comes from a heavy run background in high school. You, but you guys are going to be a little bit more going through the air this year. He said maybe 20 passes a game. But you, as a quarterback, you got to yeah. be ecstatic to hear that. Yeah, I mean, whatever it takes to win for me, if we got to throw it 10 times or 50 times, whatever it takes to win. But Ryan's a stud. I mean, it's, if I had one word to describe him as an athlete on the field, it's, he's a stud. I mean, he catches the ball. He runs well, runs good after the catch. He's got great strong hands, soft hands. So, he, I mean, when you got a guy like that out there catching the ball, I mean, it's hard not to throw it. What are your expectations for the season? I mean, I'm looking – I never look ahead one game at a time, but I want to be playing game 11. So, that's that's my goal, being, being in the playoffs. Staying healthy the whole yeah, season, yeah, too. Yeah, and staying healthy. Being on the field – being on the field uh, gives us the best chance to win. All of our guys, if we're on the field, I think we have a real chance of playing game 11. What are – what do you bring to the table as far as quarterback? Do you think he's going to – I know your, your receiver said he thinks he can catch – 100 yards a game, that's a 1,000 yards right there. Yeah. What are the things you do well that will enable you to do that? Uh, I, th I think overall just uh, being accurate is the main thing. I mean, whether it's 20 yards down the field or 50 yards down the field, just being accurate, be able to put the ball where he can go make plays, and getting him in the ball in space and letting him do his thing, and just being calm in the huddle, you know, when things get, when things get chaotic, just being the voice in the huddle to calm everybody down and tell them, hey, we got this and we're ready to play. Did being injured and being able to watch it from a different view did that help you at all? I don't know if it I don't know if it necessarily helped me in any way, but more drive to play. You know, missing those games, you don't get you don't get to play. You know, you don't get to play that many games, ten games a season. So I mean, being on the sideline and missing five games that really sparked me. And I was hungry to play, but even more hungry to play after that. What uh, What are your goals for yourself? What do you think you can accomplish? I don't. I don't really pay attention too much to the goals for myself, but playing in game 11 is the only is really the only goal I have for myself is making the playoffs. Like I said, whether if I got to throw it three times a game or 100, making the playoffs is what's important to me. Um, you got a, a lot of experience line, maybe not the biggest line in the state, but a lot of experienced guys. How's that going to factor in? Uh, they're experienced. They're ready to go. The installing of the uh, plays was a little faster this year because everybody basically knows what's going on. But I mean, we got some we got some pretty big guys up front. I mean. They're not necessarily big physically, but they know what they're doing. And Bryce Taylor, like I said, he's an all-state caliber lineman too. And he's, I mean, he's pretty good. And I know that side's locked down when I, when I drop back. What uh, What are you looking forward to most in game one this year? I mean, you, you've you been injured, mm -hmm. uh, so I'm not, you didn't really get that up, those opportunities. What are you looking forward to most game one? Whew, that's a tough question. Probably just running out on the field with the guys underneath the lights looking up. I think the Hall of Fame games, the first games of being able to meet some of those guys who were on playoff teams and who have won those types of games, been in those big games, just learning from them, getting experience from them. Learning from them is would be pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty cool. Who are some of the guys that you, you base your game on? Who are some of the guys you think this is a guy that I'd like to copy my game at? You know, from from our high school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. High school, college, you guys. Uh, I like, uh, well, I like Aaron Rodgers. I've been a Packers fan since I was little. So him, I mean, I like throwing the run a little bit. So him and Coach Persiani, who isn't with us much this year, but uh, he's helped me a lot. And he was a pretty good quarterback. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. He was a pretty good quarterback. So learning from him and uh, I like I like uh, throwing on the run. So A-Rod, a little bit of Herbert too. Um, pretty good schedule again this year. You played West, you've got James Romero on there. What do you, uh, what do you think will, uh, what do you think you need to do to get to the post, that game 11? Those guys have been in those tough situations. They've been in those big games. So just being mentally tough in those games is what you got to get through. The first three quarters are going to be the same, but you got to be able to compete in the fourth quarter when 
they like I said, James Rowe just played in the state championship, and Wes has been in the playoffs probably I think all four years or all three years I've been in high school. So I mean, just being able to compete in the end of the game, we've we've been able to compete in the beginning, but we got to stay you stay play, ready throughout. You play all sports. Yes, sir. One of your favorites. Cool. I don't, I don't think I can pick a favorite. I might get in trouble, you know. <laughs> but I don't I don't really necessarily have a favorite. I like I like playing all three. But uh, all versus all you're tougher in uh, in basketball. Is it that you think that's your best your best sport? You just don't realize. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I like I like playing all three, but I don't know. I I don't really pay attention to which one I'm better. I just like playing all three, and I let everybody else. If you want to play at the next level? What would it be? If I had to play at the next level. Baseball, I think. It'd be baseball or basketball. One of, the two, one of the two. One of the two is what I'd like to play at the next level. But you know, if those opportunities come, then we can go from there. All right, Brandon, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you.